Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Football Manager 21 are climbing the ladder. Single team save with DeGroff Shop. And as you can see, they have reached out to me with a new contract offer. Currently, I'm on 21000 a month. So this is doubling my salary, a three-year deal. Uh, play attacking, possession, high-tempo pressing football. So that's all good. And uh, yeah, everything else is the same. So we're going to go ahead and accept that. And can I get them to take only a 30% cut just in case we get relegated? Don't think we will. But there we go. We also get uh, a new a youth intake. Now, the youths haven't arrived yet, so we can't actually look at them. Uh, let's see. This guy, you've recently, you must be delighted. Yep, there we go. Are you confident? Unable to do so. I think we've done damn well. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, development center. Here we go. So they don't come in until April, right? But looks like we'll have another really good goalkeeper. That's actually positive. And a very good center back from Wag Waginigan and uh, possibly a golden generation. So we just had a great youth intake for this club last year, right? So could be back-to-back -back, uh, positive things. So just wanted to keep you in the loop on that. Just one score to update you on. Uh, we beat Den Haag 5-0, a hat trick by Paul DeVries. Nateb got a nice ball off of a set piece. Uh, that went through the entire crowd in the box, and he got a toe on it. And then Vogel had a nice finish as well. So looking good there. That keeps us up in eighth position. Uh, Gronigan still has a game in hand. But uh, we are right in the mix here, so I think we're doing good. And we're supposed to be in the relegation playoffs. I would say that everything we've done here at DeGroff Shop has been very positive for the club. So... I don't know where that uh, reporter was getting off telling me I've been unable to attain anything. Oh, well. Anyway, we'll see you guys back for some matches here in a minute. All right, we are back. We're going to do the match first and then the highlights second because that's the order these games are coming in. Uh, and the club that's at the top of the table, they're on a 50-match win streak. So we're probably going to lose that. Probably won't even be any highlights. But let's get to this match. All right, so we're back. This is the Dutch Cup third round. We're doing the match first. And then if there's highlights from the next match, we'll do the highlights second. Because that match, of course, is against top of the table PSV. They just happen to be on a 50-match win streak. So probably won't be much in the way of highlights for us. So let's get to the Dutch Cup. We're going with Stretelsov up top alongside DeVries. They've got a good partnership. Stretelsov is about fourth or fifth option, but I do like him, and he's actually got really good finishing compared to the other guys. Uh, Reniers, we're going to bring in and give him a start on the left. Diallo, Olivier, who is a new player, we'll look at in just a second. Kwesi will be in the midfield. Zigu and Nemeth on the wings. Banachek and Janssen's in the middle, and we're going to give Blom, our new goalkeeper from this season, a start uh, in goal. Now, he started the last match. He's got two matches played, one clean sheet. He's allowed one goal, so he's playing well. And Case, remember, he's very, very young. I think we need to bring him along slowly so he develops. I think... I, I watched a video on training and player development, and it said young players, like real young players, even if they're really good, you can stunt their development because they don't get better. And my understanding was they don't get better in the matches. They get better on the training pitch, so it, during training. And if they're not, if they play in the match, then they're missing training time. Something to that effect. So we'll see. I'm going to give him a little break. Blom's been playing well. Anachik's on the verge of coming back from his injury. But like I said, I'm looking to move him on. Uh, he's he's really good, but we had some Premier League clubs sniffing around. I'd like to move him on for a really good fee. Chris Natumba's still out with his injury. 
uh, and he will not be back for about another three weeks. Uh, Shed a Hulk just got injured uh, in uh, our win over Go Ahead 2-1. to one. He'll be out another two weeks, and the Teb is on a suspension for yellow card accumulation. Taking a look at Olivier, we just signed him. He comes to us from STVV, $275,000. He scored a debut goal, so he looks really good. Taking a look at his stats, uh, he is an attacking player. He can play all the way up the middle, starting to develop some on the on the wings on both sides. Three and a half star current, four and a half star potential. One of the best players on our team out of the gate. Uh, very, very solid physicals, really strong mentals, great vision, teamwork, work rate. Uh, look at that passing, and you know I've become a fan of that passing stat in FM21. First touch is there as well as his heading, and he's got a decent jumping reach for a 5'11 player. So he's going to be playing in that midfield, and if we ever do go back to that uh, 4 2 3 1 with a number 10, uh, he likely slots in there. Although that is the spot that Diallo plays, his midfield partner, and we just signed him to a new contract for three more years, three year extension after this season. So, yep, I think that's going to be a good partnership there. Let's get to the match. We are, we've had the one match against Go Ahead. That's the first match coming out of the midseason break. So we'll be looking for some fitness to start to develop here. We are underdogs today. Packed house with our fans, or at least pretty close to a packed house. And let's open up with some encouragement for them. I believe, you know what, I'm going to go back to the extended highlights. Uh, I know last episode we did the key highlights, and that did turn out to be pretty quick, but eh, we'll go back to this and see how it works out. Still playing around a little bit. That shot went wide. We also have some transfer news to talk about. We'll go through that after the match. Long throw goes right inside the six-yard box to the keeper. Not the best placement, I'm afraid. A little flick on header. Quasi's there. Oh, Quasi's cousin, we sold him. We saw, uh, I forget the first name, but there was a young player named Quasi. Oh, that was a poor pass by Diallo. Nemeth running back. Janssen's did not commit, and there's the move for the tackle, and they team up to get rid of the ball. Crazy poor positioning there. Ooh, looks like Rainier's headed that, but it went right to the opposing player. That was uh, a little odd. Just a little. Yeah, I agree. And that just goes all the way through the box. That's uh, We're not looking really strong defensively here in the early going. Hopefully we can uh, get our stuff together. I almost said a bad word. And there's Blom making the diving effort. I think he was getting photographed for his... Uh, his I guess they're not baseball cards in, in football, but, you know. Uh, Stretoslav loses that. He needs to do better. Wazy. Can he pick out a pass? There's our new player. Oh, there's a nice inlet from Diallo. Tackled away. Was it a penalty? Uh, didn't look like a foul, but the referee's coming in. He flashes a yellow. And I believe we're going to have a penalty, and it's going to be Stretelsov lining up to take it. And he can give us a big advantage here. And he slots it just inside the post. Calm finish. That's his sixth of the season. And as the game tells us, he tucked it away with accuracy. And we take a 1-0 lead 30 minutes into the match. 
Diallo plays it over the top. Nobody there to put a foot on it. And the keeper's able to make that save unmolested. Tross, a deft, some deft footwork there, didn't he? Looks like he caught that on the fly. Oh, and Van Loon gets his 13th. Jigu out of position, and Blom could not make the stop. That's troubling. All right, let's demand more. Didn't like that goal. I think we deserved a little bit better from that. Come on, boys. No matter what, so we've signed the new contract. Oh, there's a through ball. DeVries, he just had that. Oh, that was poor. Swayze. I'm, oh, what was that, Nimeth? So we got the three-year contract extension personally. We've extended a couple of our key players, uh, including a, our center back, the one that's suspended. Um, they said don't sign him, but he's he's our starter, and he's pretty damn good. So I'm finding the problem I'm having is I've got a lot of young players that need to develop. Oh, my goodness, Van Loon. Bullet header, he just charged in, and I think Blom gave up on that one. If he would have played it right, I think he could have come out and taken that player out. That was showed a little bit of a lack of heart. I think he could have challenged a bit more for that. Let's demand more again. Oliver, oh, he was looking at that near post. Good placement on that shot. Possibly an offsides call, though. So even if it would have went in, it probably wouldn't have counted. All right, we are at the half. I want to go in, and I want to look here. First touch, dribbling's only a 10. His dribbling is 11. But he's got great vision, and he's got great passing. So I think let's make him a Mazala. He's an inverted winger, so he's going to drift in. Make him a Mazala for these guys to switch out. I'm going to switch him back to support. That way he's not charging up. And either one of these guys have really strong finishing. Eh, not really. All right. Let's go into the dressing room. We're going to pump the fist. Make up for it in the second. They're at least focused. At least a few of them are. Trying to look at their ratings here. Jigu's not playing great. He's on a 6-3. We may end up pulling him off. That's a position that we are kind of weak. Uh, Wilder's one of our reserve left backs. We did sell him. So we are a little weak there. I am looking to maybe bring in another left back. Also, I've called up one of our younger defenders that can play all three. He's a center back naturally, but he, he's accomplished at left and right back. And I think he's going to be a better left back than center back. So I've started training him there. And I've called him up to the senior squad. He's like 21, 22 years old. Oh, that's just poor passing. Come on, fellas. All right, there's Oliver. Olivier, I'm sorry. He is French. Oh, look at that ball. Oh, DeVries, you needed to make that one count. That was a brilliant, brilliant play. Oh, Olivier showed a flash of what makes him look so good. And DeVries could not convert. We've got a counter on by Tross. The defense is getting back. And will we call that a professional foul? He did not even get a card. Just a warning, it looks like. Nice. All right, Nimeth. 
it looks like Nemeth and Diallo just got confused and neither one wanted the ball. That had to be offsides. Yep, offsides. All right, uh, let's see. Let's go make a sub here. Diallo's not playing great. Let's bring on Slot Boom. Maybe, maybe Sakalo. No, Slot Boom. Yeah, I'm going to bring Slot Boom on for Diallo. Olivier's playing a 6 7. Quasi's on a 6 2. Let's bring on Christian Sook. I like him. He's just not. He's just not in the mix, and we are going to put him. I'm going to put him on attack. Let's do that. Tell you what, if he can start playing well, if he can show me something out there, I could be tempted to. Oh, he was making a look at Devries again. A little too too hard and risky there. But if Sue can get can show me some flashes out there, he could challenge Quazy for some playing time. I could be I could be persuaded to uh Oh, Banachek just got blitzed. And a great save and it hits the post. Trost should have put that one in the net. All right, let's demand more. Oh, goodness. Uh, who just went red on me? About 10 minutes early from my last sub, but uh, Soup got injured. What's his deal? A foot injury. Damn it. I tell you what, let's bring on, uh, let's bring on Van Zest. Bring Van Zest on for him. Now, Van Zest is right only so he doesn't need to be inverted so we're just going to make him a winger on support and that'll be our last sub of the match there's a long ball to get it over to olivier nice ball slot boom drops it in devries gets it blocked he's up on it rio Trost taken down. Looks like Trost is also nursing a little injury. All right, there's Van Zest, our new guy. And Rizki makes the play in goal. Now, Nemeth didn't even go after that ball. He is looking really bad out there. Looks like Blom knocked that ball out of bounds. They get the corner on it. All right, come on, boys. Let's fire them up if we can. I don't know if that'll do anything. Not really playing well today. Rainier's hasn't impressed me. Olivier's really dropped off. But he's shown some flashes, and he's looked good up to this point. This is, this is another top team. I mean, we were supposed to lose this match and the next match. So I'm not, I'm not disheartened. We played them tough. I mean, two to one. Olivier brings it outside. Can he find a cross? Oh, no. Into the legs. Not that play again. <laughs> Why is it always that play? An eight. Oh, flick on header. Van Loon's on to it. Blom. Oh, I think Blom just got benched again. That's a hat trick, I believe. Yep, a perfect hat trick. A left, a right, and a header. Fabulous. I don't need to rewatch that. I'm actually going to berate the team now over that. Now, don't go score a goal and then have me berate you. That won't look good. Stratoslav slots it home, but he was off sides. And I'm going to berate him for that, too. <laughs> The berate is a, serves a double purpose. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. There was nobody even remotely close to keeping him on. It was a good pass, though. It was a good, good effort. Oh, just not to be. 
in the uh, when they redid my contract, I got the option to change our focus. So we were supposed to be in the relegation playoff, I believe. Oh, well, there's a nice save. Slot boom with the effort. Sends it over. Wasn't a save. Uh, and I said that we would we wouldn't finish in the relegation playoff. We would avoid relegation. So it got me like another hundred, hundred and fifty thousand in payroll, nothing more in transfer. Problem is I can't spend any of the money because we're already up against and look, the berate just came in at the end of the game. Eight shots, four on target. We we ended up close on XG. Just 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 didn't play well. Uh I'm gonna point the finger. Well, I'm gonna put hands in pocket. Yep, training tomorrow, boys. Training tomorrow. Disappointing collapse. Souk injured one to two days, so nothing major. The Fury. Did we get any money from that? No, no money, huh? I don't see any money coming in. Van Loon had a big day. And PSV awaits us on a 50-match win streak. Uh, we have signed a few of our young players. They've been getting offers, so we've extended them. All right, Stratoslav, he could be had. He could be had. I don't think I want to let him go for just that, that amount. He's only 26. I want at least, oh, wait a minute, 3.8. Uh, well, you're not going to get that. You can take that out, and that's non-negotiable. And then we'll just negotiate it, and you can take it or leave it. Because um, he has a buyout clause, or a release clause. So let's take a quick look at transfers. Get you guys caught up to date on that. Uh, Melvin Gurner takes off to go ahead on a loan, young player. Uh, we move on Marco Marinchik to uh, Cryova for 325000 He goes back to Croatia. He's 26 years old. We bought him for 245 a couple of years ago from a Croatia team. Actually, he goes back to Romania. Shows how much I know about those little European countries. Not at all. Um, but he goes off. We make a little bit of a profit. He had only played a handful of matches, five starts the first year, uh, only two, two matches this year. So uh, we felt he was expendable, especially bringing Olivier in. Uh, Hansen, uh, he was one of our younger players, 21 years old, but you can see only a 34 rating. Not horrible, but just not ever going to be good enough for us. And uh, we had picked him up on a free last year. Uh, actually, that was this year. Never played. So we make a little profit on him, selling him on to a fellow Dutch club. Murat Gaik, uh, that was one of our other left backs. We get $1.6 million. He's a 29-year-old Turkish player. And we had gotten him on a free. And he goes off for $1.6 add-ons could be up to 2.8 and most of those add-ons that i do are you know 10 league appearances uh, in uh installments you know two and stuck two two sets of installments six months apart for you know stuff like that uh sell-on fees things of that nature and we knew he was leaving this was one i wasn't keen on doing but I had I sat there and thought about it. We turned down two or three offers, and then we got a pretty good sized offer, and we were able to negotiate it. He's only 17. Now it says 55, but you can see he's got four and a half star potential. He's already a really good finisher. He's already made his debut uh, for his new club. And you know, but I, I said I just don't. He's so far down the pecking order, I need him to develop. And I sat there and I said, you know, at the, at the end of the day, we're still a selling team. Sometimes we're going to have to sell players. And this was, you, you've seen what I've sold players for up to this point, right? So I just felt it in our best interest. 3.3 .3 million up front, potentially up to 4.8 
I just couldn't say no at that point, so we move him on. Nigel Quazy, we move him on for 110000 Uh He was in one of our last one or two uh, youth intakes. Not a bad-looking player, but three-star potential at the most. Marcel Wouters, we move him on for a little over a half a million. Uh, 32 years old. Uh, we got him on a free last year. He, or, at, I'm sorry, earlier this year in the offseason. Uh, one start. Uh, three reserve appearances, just really, and he was our vice captain, and he just was never on the pitch, so I said, let's get rid of him, and a loan out. We only had the one player brought in, and that was Olivier. We've already looked at him, so we do have a few days of transfers left, so let me get to that, and then we'll also take a look at the highlights from the upcoming PSV match. See you guys back here in a second. There's another bit of transfer news. Uh, Sylvain Francois, 19-year-old striker, $79,000. Uh, he's got a year left on his deal. Just wasn't going to ever be a whole lot for us. So time to start cleaning out the cabinet. You know, if it's got old stuff we're not going to use. Had about a year and a half left. It wasn't costing us a lot of money, but didn't benefit us any by holding on to him either. Well... I'm not even going to show you the highlights. As you can see, it was a humiliation, 5-0 uh, defeat, and it just, me, you know. Another hat trick against us by Shoon Brood. But it was a, we, we, <laughs> a tactical blunder. I don't think that's what caused the loss there, Mr. Press Officer. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that had anything to do with us losing that match. Could be wrong. Probably not. Probably not. All right, we've got a week left in the transfer window. Uh, here's the table so far. We're sitting in seventh place, 32 points out of 21 matches with 10 wins. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. And that still keeps us only five points out of Europe. So that's positive. And seventh position, what does that get us? And if I remember correctly, the money is not correct. But it's, it's this 8 through 15. Uh, so hopefully seventh is right. If we can hold on to that, we would pocket $10 million. I'd be okay with that. And that actually puts us into Europe playoffs. Sweet. I could live with that too. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway, that kicks us out of the cup. We were expected to reach the third round. We did that. So the board's at least satisfied there. Taking a look at the club uh, vision, I've got a B for per coaching performance. Uh, everything looks pretty solid. Dynamics, if you're interested in that. We're average in cohesion. Because we have signed a lot of players, but and then you know we just mixed it up a little more. G very good atmosphere, excellent leadership support. I do have uh, a couple of unhappy people. I've a I've tried to transfer list this guy, I believe. Yeah, he's transfer listed. Um, let's go ahead and put unspecified and just get him out of here. And Stratoslav wants to start more games. Stratoslav's actually our best finisher. He's got good first touch, dribbling. His vision is what lets him down. Composure's there. I have no real reason not to be starting him. He scored 13 in 16 starts last year. It's not like he was horrible. And he's got three and five, seven in six, you know, three and two cup matches. I guess I am going to give him some more starts. I guess we just need to figure out what we're going to do there. Uh, let's see. Current ability. So, DeVries is up there. Stratoslav Natumba. Natumba is certainly going to start when he comes back. Bakario, he's 24. There's no reason he shouldn't be starting. Vogel is not a, not really a striker. Viad, I signed him to be like a veteran presence, but you know what? I'm going to see if I can sell him. 
let's offer him to clubs. I really just need to cut some weight. Uh, he's not going to be a striker for me, so we're going to take him out of there. And Suk, Suk could be a, a reserve striker if we wanted. All right, well, let me get in there. I'm going to get through the transfer window. And um, there's no cup action now. So I'm going to look at maybe two more matches. So let me get through a big run of games here. How about Haravine and Feyenoord? Don't think we've seen them. Uh, so we'll come back for that match. And then the season finale, Ajax and Sparta. Hopefully we don't need a win in those two matches to do anything because I don't think we've ever beaten Sparta and I don't think we've ever beaten Ajax either, but we might have. All right, guys, hit that like button for me. If you're new, give a thought to subscribing if you don't like, you know, if you like what you're seeing and comment away. Love to hear comments from you guys and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.